I'm really, really holding on to hope that some sort of events will come back in 2021, even if it's just the freaking nightclub in Chicago. Like, let's go, let's get dancing. Dude. Dude. No way. You know that girl I watch on YouTube, Jess? She literally just tagged me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to go watch her video, dude. She sent me the link. What is up, you guys? Okay, guys, if you don't watch Living by the F Word, you are totally missing out. Not only is she a music festival content creator, but she does so many other cool things, including like, um, like tarot and oracle readings, as well as... Um, fitness and crafts and just a whole bunch of amazing things. So go ahead and follow her. I'll link her video right down below. Hey, what's up you guys? It's a brand from Live and Large with Elle Crew. And today I'm really, really excited about this video because it's been a while since I've done like music festival content. And that's just like so on brand for me. And so recently I was tagged in this music festival tag, what my 2021 festival schedule would look like if it were not for COVID-19 and if money and time off work we're not part of the equation, okay? So we're talking bucket list festivals, where I'd be wanting to go and travel and experience if this were another year. And if it money and time off work were not, you know, factors that we had to consider all the time. And I would like to pass that on by tagging Rave Hackers and Frisky Hug. Let me know where you guys would be found in 2021 festivals if they were going to all happen this year. When curating the schedule for this video, I really tried to hit festivals that would satisfy all the different like versions of myself, the Wook, the Shuffler, the girl who wants to better herself and the world around her, all these different types of me, I guess, I tried to consider when mapping out my ultimate 2021 music festival bucket list. And so we're gonna go in order. We're just gonna start with right where my year would be beginning. And that's at Envision in Uvita, Costa Rica, which takes place from February 21st to February 28th. Obviously, 2021 dates are weird and stuff because COVID, but ideally, I'd be hitting up Costa Rica in February. Um, I have actually been to Costa Rica. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place that I totally fell in love with when I was there. And Envision Festival, it's a lot more than like music. It's a very, it's very much like a bettering type festival. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's a type of festival where you can go and do different workshops and just experience like these, I guess like really niche parts of life that like you may not be exposed to if like you're not like heavy into the community if that makes sense but yeah that's one that i wanted to go to for a very long time and it the fact that it's in costa rica is like just a plus switching right over into march the 5th through the 8th i would love to be at okeechobee in sunshine grove florida um okeechobee is an insomniac event that and i love insomniac pretty much everything that they put on i feel like is really well thought out and you know creative and all those other things so okeechobee is on my list I honestly might as well spend my entire month of March in Florida because then a couple weeks later it transitions into Miami Music Week. I know it's some sort of like conference and stuff. I don't exactly know, but I'd be, I am dying to go check out the music scene in Miami. And then Miami Music Week, the, the week ends off with Ultra Music Festival, which is one that I have not experienced, but I've heard crazy stories from my friends. Um, and that's just one that I would really like to check out, um, especially because I'm a big fan of like the Ultra Angels and sort of like that sort of like community that they've created, like of dancers in the dance music community. Um, and so Ultra is one that I just really would love to check out, um, even though it's in the Florida heat. So I don't know how I feel about that, but here we go, we'll transition. This next one was really, really hard because my birthday is May 19th and EDC Las Vegas is a festival that I have been to, that I absolutely adore, that I literally sell my soul to let it happen this May, and that was the same weekend that I never realized as Lightning in a Bottle, which is a, a festival in California that I have never been to, but I've heard amazing things about, um, which I believe is a much smaller scale than like other camping festivals, as well as like way smaller than EDC Las Vegas. So like a much chiller vibe, and it, it's on the beach, 
from what I know. That's something that I've never had in a festival either, and I would love to check out Lightning in a Bottle. Um, I think EDC takes the cake just because birthday weekend and... I already had tickets to EDC for this year with my hotel and my flights booked and all that. So in May we're heading over to Vegas and we're partying big for um, EDC. Um, then we're going to transition into June, um, which I completely forgot about this festival for a while, but um, I had to add it in there at the end, is Bonnaroo. So we'd be heading over to Tennessee for Bonnaroo from the 13th to the 16th. Another festival that I've never been to, but I've heard stories for a very long time of Bonnaroo. A, because my friend's parents got married there, and that's just a story that I've like really held on to like in the back of my head for a long time. Like They swear by that festival, and it just totally intrigues me. It's also one that's like sort of a multi-genre festival, while also being a camping festival, and... Um, I don't have many multi-genre festivals on here, mostly have dance music, and so I think that's one that I would love to have like a chill weekend at and just experience that, uh, because I know there's a big community surrounding Bonnaroo, and I'd be into it. This next one, come on you guys, a complete and total no-brainer, Electric Forest in June from the 25th to the 28th, almost like my home state festival. Electric Forest takes place in Michigan, and this place the moment I stepped on the grounds stole my heart and it's just a festival that I literally hope to attend for the rest of my life like literally bury me on the grounds of the of the forest like sprinkle my ashes there because this is where I belong in my heart and soul and I can't wait for that one to come back um, again, it's one of those festivals that has workshops, uh, so many different art installations, like characters walking around, actors and actresses. This is one that I've been to. This year is supposed to be my fourth forest, one that I already had tickets to. Just a place that I seriously belong and should be there. Um, so many cool things to discover in the forest. This next one actually takes place that same weekend as Forest, so I kind of have to had to put it on the back burner. Um, hopefully in the future there'd be different dates, but I would really love to experience Beyond Wonderland. Again, another Insomniac event with tons of characters and just a whole... It's literally like you're stepping into another world from what I see. And that's something that I'm so into, like, going to a new place, a new experience for a weekend, like, 100% count me in. And also, it's Alice in Wonderland themed, and it just seems absolutely completely amazing, and yeah. My next one is actually a Canadian festival that I have never been to and actually just pretty recently heard about. So we'd be heading over to Canada from June 10th to the 13th for Base Coast. Now, the one main thing that completely intrigued me about this festival was that it is pretty much completely female run, female produced, like bad bitches, entrepreneuring is that a word? Entrepreneuring, creating a place, a safe place where we can dance and be free and show the world what women are capable of. Like, count me the frick in. Okay. Um, and just, it looks absolutely beautiful from what I've seen from it. No big companies or sponsors, like, sponsor them. And I think that's totally amazing because it's all about the creators and the, the people. You know what I mean? Then we're taking a big old flight in July over to Belgium for Tomorrowland. Let me just tell you guys, this is another one that's been on my radar for a very, very long time. <laughs> when your memory card runs out of space in the middle of filming. Don't we love that? Yes. Oh my gosh, I was talking about Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland has been a festival that's been on my radar for a very long time. Um, I feel like I'm saying that about everything. Very large festival. There's like 16 stages or something around there. And um, just an absolutely beautiful type of event that really brings people together worldwide. It's more than ourselves. It's you see flags from all over the world there. And that is just something that like the, the you in plur, the unity, like that just is so attractive to me. So I want to be there. So while we're in Europe, we'll just stay there and head on over to Prague on July 30th for Let It Roll Festival. This one is very specifically drum and bass, and I feel like my legs would fall off by the end of the weekend just from dancing so much. 
but I'm totally okay with that. Um, this, I don't know how, like how big this festival is or what even, but that, um, is something else, like just another one that's very attractive to me for the fact that it's in a, a foreign country. Um, it's a completely different type of music, a very like particular type of music and like so characteristic of that place. So this one is really tough because this was an overlapping one. On the 30th, there's also another festival that I already did have my tickets to for this summer, this past summer, that would be on that same day, which is called Sad Summer Fest. Um, it's a touring festival similar to like Warp Tour was, RIP Warp Tour. Uh, but it's a more like pop punk type music. All Time Love was headlining this year with the main, the story so far, um, a couple other bands that are like pop punk type stuff. Um, but that one could always be arranged to get a different ticket date in a different place because it's a touring festival. So we'll stay in Prague until we fly over to Canada for Shambhala Fest, which is not till later August. It's the 20th through the 23rd. But um, this one takes place on a giant farm. Again, this is the type of festival you go to for experience, exploration, very much like a utopian type vibe. Um, again, I haven't been there, but this is one that my Ray fam and I have actually been talking about a lot. Um, another camping festival. Um, it seems very similar to like the Electric Forest vibe, but also so different in a lot of ways, but in the f sense of like they do a lot of like giving back and like volunteer type programs, um, a lot of like workshops, depth, like an art festival. This is one of those like all encompassing type things in my opinion. That's somewhere I'd like to be um, because of the fact that there's so many different elements to it. Um, the next one I know can be a little bit controversial. Um, this one is Burning Man. And before uh, you go crazy in the comments, I understand that Burning Man is not like a festival. Like you're not like going there to dance your ass off for four days, you know, it's a whole experience. Um, but I group it in because it's like, I guess because it's an experience, I don't even know how to explain it. And I feel like because I've never actually been, I like further don't know how to explain it. It is a leave no trace event where basically a whole city pops up for a week in the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, Nevada, um, in Nevada and Essentially, it's an art festival. It's a community that's built. Um, just so much amazing, like, inner exploration and discovery and just hanging out with pe like-minded people. It just seems like the absolute epitome of, like, everything I want in my life. And, like, literally someday that will be me there. And then also in September, um, there's a festival called Lost Lands. It takes place in Legend Valley, Ohio from the 24th to the 26th, I believe. And this one, okay, I'm a little bit on the fence about because I, for the most part, I'm a huge house head. And this is a festival put on by Excision. And if you're not familiar with the community, like the different artists and stuff and like subgenres, like, and you're just watching this because like you're a homie, um, it's just a completely different subgenre um, than what I typically, I don't know how to explain this because I do love Excision and headbanging. But at the same time, could I be doing just that for three days? But yeah, Lost Lands until the 26th of September. And then October, which is like the best month of the year. Um, on the 3rd, I would love to go to Wakan Festival. So this is another festival where I've never been to, but I think it would really satisfy my Wook needs. Um... <laughs> Again, this is a festival presented by Liquid Stranger, so like a specific DJ or like music artist. And again, it's very like, to the way that I'm understanding it, it's very like single genre heavy. Um, I could be totally wrong, but it is another camping festival, another like dirty hippie, like wook in the woods type thing. And like, I'm down for that. This one takes place in the middle of the Ozarks in Arkansas and... Just another place I've never been to either, so I'd love to like do some traveling and find the new places. The last one that I have like scheduled out is another Oktoberfest um, from the 13th to the 17th called Amsterdam Dance Event. All right, we're back in Europe. We are vibing with the music there. Um, I l absolutely loved Amsterdam when I went, and the way that I'm understanding um, ADE is that it's more, um, it's, a, it's a dance music event festival type thing, but it also is like a conference. Um, and I actually got this information from the other videos that I've watched of the same exact tag video, which I didn't really realize that it's so much more than like a festival. And I think that's so interesting because like, 
I would absolutely love to be a performer in, in like the dance music scene or like at events and like what better way to get into the industry than to like actually talk to people and stuff, meet people and network. And so that's another reason that age just like stayed on my list was because it'd be absolutely amazing. And like I said, the European music vibe, like the scene is so different than in America, but like I literally, I want to be there. I want to be in it and I want to learn it and I want to live it. And so now I guess we'll move on to my honorable mentions. One place that I would really love to go is the Gorge Amphitheater in Washington. I have heard nothing but amazing things, seen nothing but beautiful pictures, and uh, this just seems like a venue that I would love to experience. A sunset set at this amphitheater would be like life-changing, I would imagine. My next one is Red Rocks. I have been to Red Rocks, like the physical location, but I've never actually seen a show there. Obviously, you, if you know me at all, if you've seen any of my videos, if you know me IRL, like, I absolutely love Halloween, and any sort of festival on, like, Halloween weekend would be such a vibe. I love that everybody dresses up. I love that um, it's usually, like, themed, like, the, the venue and everything, like, has, like, decorations and stuff. I went to one a couple of years ago, Jawbreaker in Milwaukee, um, which was super dope, and I just love that Halloween dancing vibe. But I'd love to try new ones like Freaky Deaky I've never been to, Escape. Another thing would be a cruise music festival. Um, I know that some of the big famous ones that I would love to go to would be Holy Ship, Ruse Cruise, and I've never been on a cruise in general and so I didn't know... I feel like I would get very seasick. I don't know if that's like a real thing but I feel like I'd have to go and just try one out. I think I could definitely see myself making time for that in my um, very busy 2021 schedule. And my last thing is international festivals because um, I had a couple on here. Anywhere I want to go everywhere. Like anything that could get me out of the country, seeing a new place, traveling to um, a new environment, a new culture, and then also being able to have like some sort of crazy like dancing art learning event experience like literally count me in like that's what I want the rest of my life to look like so yeah leave drop a comment on what festivals you'd like to go to in 2021 um keep living large and I will catch you on the flip you guys third time filming the intro to this video hopefully this camera stays focused on me and doesn't die